How's it going? So we're going to be doing this one. Right, I'm assuming you already read. Ugh, this magical stuff. Okay, so first I'm going to explain how to do it. Alright, so... Let's take one of the strings. Well, honestly, do we need to? Yeah, let's just take... Uh, let's take this one here. Alright, so we have this. We have this. We have this. We have this. 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 Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go through every single one of them in terms of iteration, right? And we're gonna have a final array. Okay, so we're gonna call this the right way, right? So this, this or this is gonna be the right way. So if it's one of those, we want to push them into the final array, right? So, for example, let's say this one is the right way. And these two are the right way. We want to push it in the right way. Now, here's the trick. If we see this, so reverse of this, right? If we see. Now, remember, there's only three of them, right? They can only be this, this, or this, right? So, you can brute force it, basically. It's called... Cool. Ooh, okay, so if we see this, we're going to look at our array and pop the element from here, right? So if we see this, we're going to pop this element, and we're going to check that this element is this, reverse of this, right? So we're popping it off and we're checking. Does this element equal to this? If so, continue. So we're gonna put popped in here. We don't we're not gonna actually store them, but just so you'll see. Again, we see the reverse of this. We're gonna look, we're gonna pop the element and check that it's actually reverse of this. If not, return no. Right, so okay, we're gonna pop the element off. Right, so now we are here. So this is the right way up. So we're gonna add it to the array. Now we're gonna look at the next element and see, okay, so this is reverse. We're gonna pop the element of the array. Remember, pop is popping the last element of the array. And check whether it's actually this. If not, return. Return no. If yes, pop it. And then we keep going. Okay. Now this is reverse. We check. We're going to pop it. Is it equal to uh, this thing? If yes, pop it. Off. Right. Next, this is the right way up. We're going to add it. So this is reverse. We're going to check whether we're going to pop it and check if it's reverse of this one. If so, we're going to pop it off. And then, okay, now it's again, it's the reverse. We're going to pop it and check if it's equal to the reverse. If so, we're going to pop it off. So now the final array is empty. We're going to check if the final array is equal to zero, return yes, or if there is something in it, return no. The other way to do it is check if final array has anything in it left, return no. In all other cases, return yes. Does that make sense? That's it. So that, that, that's how we're going to do it.
all right so let's do it so the first thing now another condition i just added i don't know if you need it but like an if s length divide by two does not equal to zero that means there's more than now they they are in pairs you have to remember they're in pairs so if there's like seven elements one pair is definitely missing so we're gonna have to automatically return no well oopsie okay so then we're gonna create let final r equals to this am i recording am i recording la 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 okay for variable i equals to zero i smaller than s that let oh actually we need to you know what we need to do we need to probably s equals to s split we probably need to split yeah all right let element equals to s i so i is the index right so remember if element equals right way up so this could be either this or element equals to it could be this or element equals if you know how to do if you like to do switch statements you can do them in here if you want whoops So we're just basically pushing the element into the final array. All right. Now, if an element is equal to the other way around, right? So let's say we meet this. We want to do a test, which is going to be, we're going to look at the final array and we're going to do pop. Remember, pop will actually you can test to see what was popped off you see and we're gonna test if test does not equal to reverse of this thing right reverse of this thing which is going to be um this thing here then we want to return no and you have to also remember that pop is going to alter the array automatically right so you don't need to return a new array it's actually going to mutate the actual array right so if you don't know how pop works just go to code pen and practice with it just so you understand how it works all right and here we can just do uh, console log final r. This is the end end of We need to make sure that there's not weird BS going on. Yeah, you're going to have to, like, it's not going to show correctly because you actually have to put in all the three conditions. Otherwise, um, it's going to start messing around. All right. That's why you don't see final R's because it's already returned something, right? You, you have to. You have to put in all the uh, conditions. Otherwise, it's just not going to work, right? So if it's equal to this, then we want to do the test again. Again, you can do the switch statements. Make sure it's a reverse of it, right? So it has to be this. And then final one is going to be, if it's like this, it has to be a reverse like this. Now you see, 
now it works right now we do the test if final r dot length is equal to zero return yes else return no i think that should do it just play around with logic i mean that, that definitely should do it There you go and that's about it so the key thing in here is just popping off and remember that pop mutates the array and you can test what are you popping off and that's it that's pretty much the thing all right take care